Hi, I'm Stacey Wagner, Senior Technical Analyst for the Teardown Group at Tech Insights. I'm here to give you a high-level overview of our exciting teardown on the Huawei Mate 10 smartphone. We see many of the same components in the Huawei Mate 10 as we did in our teardown of the Huawei Mate 9, with the exception of the highly anticipated high silicon Corinne 970 applications processor inside the Mate 10. The Corinne 970 is the second AI-enabled mobile processor chip on the market following Apple's A11 Bionic. The Corinne 970 CPUs, GPU, and memory areas are up to 38% smaller than in its predecessor, the Corinne 960. We assume the extra landscape on the Corinne 970 is used for the new neural processor unit. High Silicon, the manufacturer of the Corinne 970, is a fabulous semiconductor company that spun off of Huawei a few years ago, and they have several socket wins in this phone. Just as we have seen in earlier Huawei P-Series and Mate Series teardowns, the Mate 10 is another flagship designed on a high silicon platform, including high silicon design wins for the battery charger and envelope tracker sockets. Our initial estimates show Huawei has delivered a tempting alternative to Samsung's Galaxy S8 and Apple's iPhone 8, all while keeping their build costs close to those of their competitors. Huawei has established themselves as a dominant, if not the dominant, smartphone leader in China and Europe, but they have yet to officially secure a lineup with a major U.S. carrier. We hear rumors about a partnership with AT&T, but haven't seen anything official yet. With the recent launch of Apple's iPhone X, Huawei may have some catching up to do if they do manage to crack into the North American market, but the design features of the Huawei Mate 10 show they just might have a contender. If you want to know more about the Huawei Mate 10, check Tech Insights' technical blog or contact us at techinsights.com.